What's up guys, it's Andy. Have you ever gone to the gas station and as you're filling up, you find that the gas pump stops every two seconds? You would think there's some type of blockage between the filler neck and the fuel tank, but that's not the case in this vehicle, so we're gonna go over it and see what's going on. From underneath the truck, we can see where the filler neck goes right here. You just want to take a look at that, make sure it's not kinked or anything. This is metal, so that shouldn't be, but it goes into a rubber hose right there, and you want to make sure that's not kinked as well. And there's a little breather tube right here. Now, it's just a breather tube. It's not the vent. I'll show you where the vent is in a minute, but you want to make sure that's not kinked as well. So here's the fuel tank underneath here. I'm going to raise this up a little bit more. If we take a look over here, here's part of the EVAP system and where the tank attached to the top of the tank is this hose right here and this is where the breather is and actually that's not connected right this second. So this is attached to the top of the tank. So as you're filling the tank, air is going to come out the top of the tank through this hose. And because there's going to be fuel vapor in there, you don't want it to just go into the atmosphere. It needs to go through this charcoal canister first. And then it comes out this hose over here and over here. Now this is all new, so there's nothing wrong with this part of it. Um, what we need to do is take the charcoal canister down. Now we disconnected it from here right here before uh, we just pushed on those two terminals right there now one thing you can do to see if this is plugged up is you could pop this hose off and try to fill it with gas and see if it fills normal after you pop that off and that's what we actually did um, and and if it doesn't if it's still stalling then you have something wrong with the tank there could be a valve issue um, where the um, fuel goes into the tank but um, as, as this goes, this canister itself appears to be plugged up, so we're going to take this out. Now let's disconnect this hose right here. This goes to the front of the vehicle. And I'm just trying to get the lock. I got one side of it. I'm going to get a screwdriver. There we go. Pop that off. And then this one, normally there's another lock like that, but this one has a hose clamp, so I'm going to need some hose clamp pliers. I'm going to need some hose clamp pliers. Slide this hose off. So this hose right here that goes to this solenoid, that's the vent solenoid, and then this little piece area right there, that's where it just lets out into the atmosphere. Sometimes I have seen spiders get in here and create a nest, and if they create a nest there, it's going to be a blockage, and then that's going to give you the same condition. So Check that out, see if you have a spider that's got into here with a blow gun. You should be able to blow air through here. Get some air. You really shouldn't have full force air, but. And it's not restricted, um, so that's good. Now I'm going to use a 13 millimeter wrench and a 13 millimeter socket. There's a nut on the top of here and a bolt right here. Watch your teeth. Sometimes there is a bolt going from the top down, so you might need a ratchet wrench to take that off. But this one's like this. And this whole thing is going to slide out a little bit and then sideways over the muffler.
and you tip it down and just slide it out like that. So we can take this hose off right here. We'll transfer it over to the new one. All right. I'm gonna just show you on the ground how this works again. This is the vent. So this is the end of the road. This is where the, f the vapors go into here and come out here. So if there's any blockage here, you don't want that. There could be a blockage here. And then this connects to a fuel tank. So this needs to be somewhat open so that as you're filling the fuel in there, the air or the vapor goes into here and goes out there. The vapors are gonna be trapped in here. There's charcoal in here and that's gonna prevent you from polluting the environment with fuel vapors. So let's take this apart and we can test this. So we're just gonna cover up. This line actually goes to the engine so that they can put a vacuum on the system. But so if we cover this up, put a little air in here, we can see that it's pressurized and there is a restriction. It's not very easy. And the fact that when I stop and pull it away, there's pressure in there. Let's get the new one. Take a look at this. Push this. And you can see there's no, it's not restricted at all. It doesn't even move. This one's definitely. Definitely a restriction in there. So that's how, that's how you know if this is restricted. It's one way to tell. Another way I was going to do, if I had a balloon, I was going to put a balloon on here that's full and see how long it takes for the balloon to um, shrink down and then same with the new one, compare it. But there's definitely a restriction there. And I'll just transfer this over to the new one. Just slide it out like that. Just kind of angle it in a little bit. I know this piece is pretty rusted, but it, it's still gonna protect it from the exhaust heat. Slide it back over the muffler. position. All right, let's get a slide in the feet in the back. That looks good. Put the bolt back in. Again, if you had a bolt coming down, put it in like that, just like you took it out. And you could have put this pipe on while it was on the ground, but I'll just put it on now. Slide it onto where it goes on the tank. Make sure it locks in place. It's locked down and then there's a piece I have to transfer over and this piece just slide up 
just like that. Transfer it over to the new one. You can either put it over the hose or put it on the hose or the fitting. And lock it down. And then last, attach the vent hose. Slide it down. That looks good. That's all set. So that should have taken care of our problem. If there's anything on the vent side that's plugging up, that's going to cause the fuel to come through. And another way you can check is with a boroscope on your filth side. If you slide that in, you can go in here and see if there's any restrictions. Go all the way down. twist it around a little bit, feel like a plumber. So there's a rollover valve in there and it really doesn't take any pressure to open it. Um, you, can, you can almost just barely like feather light push the valve and we did have the tank out the other day and checked that valve, but that valve's fine. So. So we're good there. So if you enjoyed this video or it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.